Hi everybody! This is Fi, I'm checking out Ideal Adventure. It's a little bit loud. Some pretty music here, I'm gonna turn it down a bit. Definitely recommend uh, checking your game levels, volume levels against other games and stuff you have installed or whatever, just to kind of get in a ballpark. Hopefully that's reasonable for the capture anyways. Um, open up the game page here real quick. Ideal Adventure is going to be a third person magic shooter with Poorings and Cute Things, also waifus. Now Poorings is a very, uh, very uncommon word. <laughs> Not really sure. It's peculiar to me that that is used here. In any case, uh, right now the game is using pre-builded assets. That's why skill icons aren't related with the skill you use. I'm going to start creating those assets very soon. Tip: You can make rocket jump with the mortar skill. How to play? Keys: W A S D. Move the characters. I for inventory. One, two, three, four, and five to select skill. Currently only two working speed fire and mortar fire. Q is for roll. Tricks for my game, rocket jump. Run aiming, aiming down, jump, and shoot into the floor. You can reach highest places doing it. Uh, this is version 0.2.1. Oh, sorry, I got that backwards. Version 0.1.2, which is the version I'm playing. Translated into Spanish, fix some bugs, added sound, purchasing new hair, pause menu working. All right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's do the game itself. Let's get rid of the overlay. So I've not seen anything past the screen. Looks like we have some different music playing. Play five rounds with hordes of enemies attacking you. Okay. Oh. Got a weird little audio effect when you hover. Okay. All right, so here we are. Quite pretty, it's got nice lighting. Camera is quite close. Oh, time to start, oh my gosh. Round from five. Um, that's kind of silly sound. Okay, we can jump. Uh, I guess Q is, I thought Q is to roll. Is that? Um, skills are at the top, it looks like. I got one and two. Oh no! Oh, there we go. Okay, so we hold the right mouse button and then left mouse button to, to shoot, I guess. And it looks like... Oh, okay, so this takes some amount of energy, but a very small amount, and it recharges, like, instantly. This is a bigger one that takes a lot more energy. Okay. You can shift to run. I, I thought we were supposed to be able to... Oh. Okay, we can run with shift. But we have what looks like a stamina meter type of deal. I still can't figure out how to... Oh, we've got some grass popping in and out here. Still can't figure out that roll thing. Can I pause? Alright, go back to game options. Not working yet. Go back to windows. Um, at least they mentioned that this isn't working, so that's nice. Just looking at the game page again here real quick. I for inventory, Q for roll, so I don't know what the roll thing is. Um, oh, okay. So there's some stuff here, but it's not in English. C. Crouching, I guess. Okay. So I usually use, got a little bit of frame drops here, I think. I usually use control for a crouch. Be nice to have that rebindable, whatever. Oh, I got the big one selected here. So it's a bit. Yeah, there's a lot of latency <laughs> um, input delay here. Uh, I believe it's a combination of the V-Sync and the fact that I'm dropping some frames. Um, so for reference, I'm running a GTX 970 with an i7-2600K processor. Oh, it looks like run is kind of a toggle, so that's interesting. Oh, that's, you can see that this is not... 
it's not shooting out of the camera basically so the line of sight can kind of be broken here by the terrain as you can see even though the cursor is whoop, pointing up there Jeez, they're kind of bullet spongy ouch stuff hurts man I don't know what this is. Is this like a monster spawner? Um, they did mention we could rocket jump, so I guess we can kind of try that. Oh, that didn't work. I tried to jump and, and shoot, and not only did I not jump, but the shot looked like it just went through the ground or something. So I think when I hit, I ran into this little bump here or something, I must have pressed jump at just the right time and it just nullified it or something. So, is this... Doesn't seem very powerful. Hey, go away. So not really getting the rocket jump thing so far, it seems very weak the amount of... You just don't seem to get any hair. <laughs> So I don't really know what the idea is. Maybe it's meant to... Kind of propel you off a wall or something if you're next to a wall. Ah. Well, that, I tried to shoot this. I don't know. It looked like it just hit the ground in front of me. Not sure what happened there. Um, so these kind of particle effect sort of dealies with all the bloom lighting and everything, it starts to all kind of blend in. Um, so like when I'm shooting like this, in certain cases it's like hard to see my own shots. So it's not great in terms of visibility. Um... Also, these guys are all shooting... Not only is there a lot of them and they have a lot of health, but they're all shooting rather fast-moving projectiles. And my attacks, I have to... Oh, that thing's already dead, I guess. Since I have to go into this very slow movement state in order to attack back, while they're just like spitting these things at me constantly, um, I mean, it doesn't feel great in terms of being able to dodge stuff. Just don't have a lot of options. Like, I can sidestep some of them, but when, when there's, like, guys all over the place, then you can't really move fast enough. And these guys just, once they get too close, they actually appear to move faster than you do. Oh gosh, and I keep getting out of the run state. I don't I don't like the toggle run. It doesn't seem to be working well for me because sometimes it toggles itself off. But yeah, if they get close to you and the only way to, to fight them off is to has to go in this kind of slow walk state um, and they start moving faster than you do then they can just kind of hit you infinitely. Uh, the alternative would be to not fight them and run backwards until you're at like a safe distance maybe which might be a technically better strategy but it's not very fun in that sense so. Oh you can just hold this down. <laughs> well that's a lot easier. A rather slow shot speed for for your character. I mean the travel speed of the shots. You have to lead a lot. And these enemies are not very big, so you're not very accurate unless you're superhuman, I suppose.
on input delay means I'm like overshooting a lot. Well, let's try to go back. Really, I don't, I don't understand this whole rocket jump thing. It's not seeming to work so well for me. Oh. Is that for health? Wait, eyes inventory. Okay, so we can just use this at any time, I guess. Blossoms are magical money. I don't think that went where I shot it. <laughs> Not sure what happened there. A little strange. Oh gosh. Wasn't great. Oh, this guy right there. <laughs> so yeah, that was really dumb. It's just, um, like I mentioned, I don't think it makes. It doesn't appear to make any sense to fight the guys when they're like right on top of you like that, because they'll just hit you over and over again with no way to avoid the attack. So um, technically, I should have just ran away. I just kind of didn't feel like it. So. <laughs> uh, there's that. Um, yeah, I definitely wish I could turn off the V-Sync here because not only would it likely run a lot better, but um, I would have way less of this input lag and be able to aim properly. Looks like that guy just kind of teleported there real quick. I'm not sure if that's... What I saw. Yeah, these the the two number two skill there doesn't go straight towards your reticle. I don't know if that's by design or what. Is this, it, does it drop over time or something? Is it supposed to be like a lob? Ugh. This guy over here. Yeah, see, it hits the ground in front of me. So where I where I'm aiming. Nice if you could switch skills with a mouse wheel in the future. Yeah, they take a lot of hits. Whoop, I was seeing through the terrain there for a moment. Camera got stuck in the wall, I think. not work. Is 
And so the run, even though there's a stamina on the run, it does recharge super fast. It almost kind of makes me wonder what the purpose of having stamina on it at all is. Too much stuff in the way. Can I get over that? No. Nope. Gotta go around all this stuff. So that's something you want to consider for your level design is if you have stuff that's just the right height that you can't shoot through it. Because it's like your height. Ouch. over here. Oh, that's the controls again. Yeah, the, the roll thing that was mentioned on the game page must have been taken out at some point. I'm gonna guess, and that the game page wasn't updated subsequently. Where'd he go? See the little shots, but they're hiding. Where are you hiding? Guys are sneaky. Whoa, what the heck? Gosh. No, die already. So I'm going to stab the eye key. It's quite a reach to hit eye. <laughs> but I think we can just use... Oh, it doesn't do very much. It says 50, but this is not going up by 50. I think. Oh, it says 100 out of 100, but the meter itself isn't updating correctly, it looks like. So there might be a bit of a bug. Um, escape? There we go. Oh, okay. So I guess there's a delayed... Um sort of recharge effect that's going on there, which should probably be turned off when it's in the menu to prevent what I just noticed, but... Ah, uh, again, I tried to shoot this thing and it just kind of goes down. You can't really see it, you only see it when it blows up. So I guess it goes kind of, it kind of lobs. Oh, that time I could see it. That was the first time I ever saw the actual trail effect. So yeah, that's interesting. So far the pacing is pretty slow, the enemies have a lot of health, they tend to hide a lot, they're very small and hard to hit, and your uh, shots are slow moving, which makes it harder to hit the enemies. And um, you know, the fact that I'm not very accurate, with this kind of laggy input I keep... <laughs> yeah, it's not working too well for me, but... Definitely takes a while to kill all the dudes. Oh. Okay. 
also noticing it's sort of an over the shoulder sort of thing but um there's a weakness inherent oh. there's a weakness inherent in this sort of design where if you're if you're taking cover behind stuff which you probably should in most shooters um if you're taking about cover behind something like this you can kind of see because the camera's over on on your right shoulder here so it's like this is advantageous but if you're over here this is the exact opposite where it's it's not helping you much at all and you have to come way out here before you can shoot anything um, so a solution to that if you want to keep the over the shoulder type of deal is uh Shot a key that you can swap the camera to from one shoulder to the other. Which I like. I like the Q key for that. Oh, well that time it worked. Why did it work this time? Because there was an enemy? That's weird. Huh. Very strange. What is that? Oh, something different here. Oh, gosh. The heck? Where are they coming from? Why are they coming from the sky? Why can't I dodge them? Oh my gosh, they exist so fast. What the heck, they're undodgeable. <laughs> they literally home in on you, what the heck? What's happening? Is this, is this the apocalypse or something? What's going on? I can't, oh, I'm already dead, that's why. What? I don't, I don't understand what this, uh, these raining fireball things are supposed to be doing. Well, that time worked. Huh. That time did not work. I'm thinking it might be because I was... Oh, you can actually... Oh, <laughs> turn yourself around backwards here. Um, I don't have enough energy. So I'm thinking, that's a little weird, I'm thinking that it might be, well that time it didn't work either, so it's not the angle. How do you do it, like right here? No, I don't know what it is, it's just not working well for me. Occasionally it works for some reason, but most of the time it doesn't, so. What the heck? Why do you completely fall down? That's ridiculous. Alright, in any case, um, I think I've seen about all I'm going to see so far. Uh, I did get to this round with all the fireball things. I don't know what you're supposed to do in that round, how you're supposed to not die immediately. But um, yeah, as it is so far, it feels... Um, I mean the gameplay is pretty rough right now. I think that the assets are quite nice. I don't know how many of these were necessarily made by the developer. I think some of these structures seem like they're higher detailed and, you know, higher res textures and stuff, so that makes me wonder if maybe they were bought or whatever. Um, <laughs> Which there's certainly nothing wrong with. But, uh, I like the player character. It's quite cute. And 
And uh, I think in terms of the gameplay, there's just a number of things that I mentioned already. Uh, enemies are quite bullet spongy and you're not very strong feeling. I mean, you don't feel like you're going to die right away to these pink dudes because they're just... They're pretty weak too and it's not hard to dodge their attacks, but you get into states where you kind of just end up eating attacks randomly and it's kind of not very fun. I don't like how slow you move when you're doing your little ADS type deal. It might work better if you could attack outside of it and just use this for extra aiming like you do in, you know, some shooters. Um, but yeah, it's just stuff I already mentioned, I think. Probably not much more I can say about it. Um, I don't know what the deal was with the, the rocket jumping not really working for me. But, uh... There we go. So yeah, um, I think it's pretty cute. I, th I think the there's meant to be a sort of cuteness factor to it, which I think is appealing in its own right. So it's um, just be nice to see more work done on the general design of the gameplay and everything. And if you can get that kind of tuned up and feeling fun, then it should be a pretty compelling game. So hopefully uh, you found something of use in this video. If there's anything you have any questions about or anything, just let me know. I'll try to help you out. And uh, otherwise, I'm going to move on to something else. So I'll see you guys in the next video.